Margaret Shelton produced a large body of work for over a very long period of time. She was active from the 1930s until she passed in 1984. Margaret Shelton studied under the three probably most prominent artists working in Alberta at the time, who were A.C. Layton, Walter Phillips, and H.G. Glyde. And she learned different things from, from each of them, but her, her real interest was really the, the watercolor painting. And she first studied under A.C. Layton, taking night classes when she was working towards her teaching certificate in Calgary, which she did work as a teacher for a short period of time, but quickly discovered that wasn't for her and ended up actually pursuing her art making more. And she, her preferred method of working is called en plein air, which is where you're actually outside experiencing the, the landscape that you're reproducing. And this is why most of her watercolor works are in a smaller format. But uh, she did do some larger works as well. The works that came in in the Hess gift, there's, there's four larger watercolors and they're interesting because they're a deviation from the format she's known for. But she loved to work outside, and indeed she spent many of her summers completely outside, all summer long, uh, camping and riding her, her bicycle all around, uh, mostly, mostly in Alberta, but she did venture uh, out into British Columbia as well. Since we received the Hess gift in 2017, I have been curating a series of exhibitions on individual artists, and to date all of those exhibitions had been uh, featuring works by male artists. So when it came to plan this exhibition, I started looking at excellent work by female artists in the Hess gift, and I identified Margaret Shelton as a candidate that would be great for an exhibition. Margaret Shelton isn't an artist who is widely known outside of Alberta, despite having produced work for a very long time. She was active from the 30s uh, until her passing in 1984. And she produced this huge body of work um, in watercolor and, and different types of printmaking. She's known for her block printing in lino cut and wood cut as well. And this exhibition has all of those things. Uh, the, the room that we're in now has the collection of her watercolor landscapes, but we also have uh, lino cut prints uh, in black and white ink on the outer panels and the title wall. And then inside the alcove, we have some early examples of her figure studies, works that she's not known for at all really, uh, but they were done while she was a student. And I think they're quite special examples. And then alongside those in the alcove are some very early examples of her printmaking and then some later as well.